Hello and welcome to the introductory episode of Bell Pepper Team Podcast, the one and only place for all your shitty video game and nerd shit needs. Uh, I'm Don. I'm Davis. I'm Shane. <laughs> I'm Corey. Thank you for the delayed response from all of you. Clearly, you pick up quickly <laughs> enough on what you're doing. <laughs> okay, so uh, like I said, this is basically, we're going to be talking about things like starting off with like, I don't know, video games, nerd culture, mostly video games because that's something that we're all into. Um, but we'll see how this evolves as it goes along throughout uh, throughout its, its lifespan here. Um, Which could be one episode. True. <laughs> might be. You never know. Uh, but so... And also that name is, is in the in the ether. That's what it is temporarily. Working of, title. Working title, uh, as they say in, in the in the biz. Uh, so basically the, the layout of this is going to be we're going to have a topic each week. Uh, we're going to talk about maybe some news. But our topic this week, uh, because this is our first episode and we figured we'd pick up something easy and maybe not so time topical, but in the future hopefully more time topical. But this week, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, because... <laughs> It is a, a game that is all—it's very near to all of our hearts, and we figured why not start on a good, good, uh, good note with Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, because uh, I know I spent a lot of time in the game. And what do you, did you? What about you guys? Obviously, I spent so much time in that game when I was a kid. Uh, like, probably I, way too much time. Mine's I didn't. Yeah, mm. it's on my computer. I've got it on, in my GameCube downstairs. It's I don't know. I I, I played it a ton. Yeah, I have it on. Dreamcast when it first came out. Not the battle version, just the normal version. Yeah. Battle version added Chow battles, and that's mostly it, new, right? New racers and stuff, new characters to play in on, on multiplayer mode. But uh, I think it was the same game besides that. It was mostly the same. You just slapped the name Battle at the end of it, and it's a brand new game for a brand new generation of systems. But in in Battle, though, didn't they take out Big? Who was hidden in like almost every level? No, he's still hidden in it. Like you could see him he in is? the downhill okay. chase, at least for sure. Um, yeah. But I don't know. He might be in less places, but I'm pretty sure he's still in all the levels. Um, yeah. So that's kind of the format. But we're gonna start off. Maybe talk a little uh, little video game news this week. Um, so I sent the guys some different articles. We'll start off with one of the uh, start off with a weird article that I thought was really interesting, and it's uh, I guess. Uh, Death Stranding. There's some new Death Stranding footage. Uh, <laughs> and it shows off some P gameplay. Because everybody knows that the one thing that we're clamoring for in 2019 in video games is the ability to piss on things. Oh, absolutely. Uh, and Kojima's like, here you go, guys. So Good old Kojima. I'm going to read uh, a quote from him. Uh, so, this is from Polygon. Uh, so... Kojima's, a uh, new footage of Kojima's delivery service game gives us a closer look at Norman Reedus's tortured existence as a father who has to manage his pee. Riveting. Uh, you can use the left and right trigger to control the direction of the fluid, though you can't move the camera to see firsthand, so you don't, can't see his dingle dangle, but you can oh. control his urine. Uh, and the pee can also be used as weapon. And, uh, a weapon? A weapon. I don't know what that means. I'm not sure exactly what that means. but that's So, okay. Can... Just go around pissing on people? That's and like Postal hurts... too. So it is like post who get so who gets damaged by pee? What Shane. what 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 kind of Shane. Shane <laughs> I do I do uh, th this fucking dog I do elaborate Mor morale damage. Ugh, I, you, I mean, you don't have any of that. <laughs> <laughs> but maybe I, morale I must be so low. <laughs> maybe the most interesting thing of this article is the next quote saying that uh, Kojima said that if enough players pee in the same spot, quote something good will happen. Uh, and I guess a mushroom grew bigger as a result of the pee. So I guess it's it was like um, uh, what was what was the space game um, that was shitty at launch that eventually got better? New Man, New Man, uh, no Man, Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Sky. Yeah, yeah, no Man's Sky was like at launch where it's like multiple people could be in the same area but you couldn't see each other or whatever how it was. I guess that's how this will kind of work. Or like uh, Dark Souls, where uh, you can put the whatever the, the things are on the ground sign down whatever they are yeah i don't really play dark souls so i don't really know but i guess it's a that's shame. true Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> who's gonna notice a little mushroom growing though like it's probably big i don't like i don't know for sure but like how, we, how big are we talking like it's gonna be like giraffe size or or it, like you know little baby bell mushroom like, have you have you seen anything about this game no well besides that there's a there's a baby it's a huge open world. So if it if it was a mushroom, that was like everybody's going to pee in the same spot in a huge open world. Maybe it's Absolutely. like forgiving, but if there's like 
I don't know if it sells like a I million copies. I, I would like. I would Spider-Man, always be pissing. Spider Man sold like sixteen million copies. <laughs> if this sells half as many copies as Spider Man, like let's say it sells like seven million copies. If seven, if this world is seven million people, maybe what ten thousand are bound to like pee in a similar place. That'll cause mushrooms to grow pretty big, right? But like, I don't know. It's weird. This is uh, I don't know what the benefit of peeing is. I know water is a big feature, so maybe or a big like plot point. Maybe you fill the river more. Maybe the, the river, river will fill up more. The river of, of... So, so do you think Nintendo will go back and update uh, Breath of the Wild to have a piss mechanic? Just to kind of... I hope. Times. No, they're no, saving absolutely. that for the new one. That's what, yes, that's what it's going to be. the new one. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You'll pee on Ganon's grave. Yes. All right. Uh, <laughs> you'll play, pay you'll play a Zelda, and she'll just piss on Link. Yeah, because that's Shane's fetish. Moving on. <laughs> absolutely. Moving on. Uh, to our, our next bit of news here. Um, so I guess... Sony uh, acquired Insomniac Games. So uh, Insomniac, who was famously in charge of Spyro back in the day, which is you know Sony's uh, one of their big hitters initially, is back uh, as a, a child company of Sony now. So I know like Sunset Overdrive that was an Xbox exclusive, right? But, yeah. yeah, but the rest of Insomniac stuff, like Ratchet and Clank, was mostly PlayStation. Sure, but re- most recently besides Spider-Man, they had... Like they were on Xbox, they they made Xbox games, and even like it, it is a thing. No more. That is the case because they're completely owned by uh, by Sony, which probably means whatever the Spider-Man Two game is will not be on Xbox. It'll be exclusively Sony, which is fine. I don't really care that much because um, I'll, I'll yeah. play it anyway. But that's uh, means F Sunset Overdrive Two comes out. Won't be on the Xbox. Does Xbox own Sunset Overdrive, or was that just? Yeah, no, they. It's their IP. It's Xboxes, or is it Insomniacs? I don't. I don't know. Uh, I would. It. I would assume it was. It was a big launch title as an Xbox exclusive. Yeah, so but that doesn't mean that. Hold on. Let me, let me. Yeah. Let me look real quick. You guys talk. So, um, is it a big deal that Sony buys Insomniac? I. I don't know. It's to me. It just it, seems like it's. Uh, it's it, games that were already on pretty much PlayStation only that are now especially only on PlayStation. Xbox is snatching up these smaller companies left and right. It's interesting that this is at least the first one that, that I've heard in a while at least of Sony doing the same thing. And it's a bigger company than a lot of the ones that Xbox is snatching up. Which, having a good and proven first party company like Insomniac on the Sony brand, which is already stronger for first party games than maybe Microsoft is, at least I guess so, in yeah. the recent past, is even, it's good for them. So it's good for Sony. Okay. Good for it, it's Insomniac owns, I'm assuming based on this tweet, owns Sunset Overdrive because Insomniac responded to a tweet saying, uh, the tweet said, Sunset Overdrive 2, please. They responded saying, we'd love to, we just need to find a publisher. Interesting, yeah, because Microsoft published, it was developed by Insomniac mm-hmm. and published by Microsoft, uh, the first one at least. So, if, uh, yeah, then I guess they have all the control to it. So maybe that means it'll be it'll be really weird having an, a, one exclusive because it's it's still an exclusive right they, they, they never came out on PlayStation or PC well maybe PC uh, no I it, I would assume it's probably it might be crossplay now Spider Man is only on PlayStation not Spider Man we're talking about Sunset oh I'm sorry but so Sunset having, I, I think I saw it on PC well that's uh, it's basically Xbox now at this point since there's yeah that's crossover true. between the two but like having an exclusive on like one exclusive on Xbox for the first game and then having a second game exclusive on PlayStation seems incredibly weird now. And I don't know that, like, Sunset is not on that PlayStation. Yeah, that doesn't seem like something that would make sense. It's like you're going to release Sunset Overdrive two exclusively for the PlayStation when PlayStation users that don't have an Xbox have no way to play this. So either somehow they'll have to release like Sunset Overdrive one on the PlayStation, which I would imagine would just include paying Xbox some money, which I don't think they would be down with that or like against that. But I don't know. Did any of you play Sunset Overdrive? Yeah, Probably. it was a lot of fun. I didn't play it at all. I don't even know what it's about. It's it, about like, like it's like post apocalyptic. Right? It's like post apocalypse zombies. Except, yeah, like basically there zombies. was an energy drink that uh, yeah. had some shit in it that turned everyone into like zombies, and it's a fucking fun game. It was. It, it uh, was. It's one of those so, games yeah. where like you start when you start off, you're super slow, not agile or anything, not like you're super weak, and then as you go, like you level up, and then you're able to just run around, run on walls jump up super high it's it's a really fun game it was worth playing especially like well after the game stopped being uh supported 
they weren't doing new content or anything and they had they had a community outreach thing where you but that had since ended when i played it and it was still a lot of fun hmm. well i imagine that is done now uh well yeah the game is dead ski as far as anyone is concerned um next bit of information this mostly pertains towards xbox users but they released uh some new, new uh game pass games that are coming out uh with xbox game pass which is devil may cry 5 or devil may cry 5 for the console stellaris which i've never heard of also only on the consoles but uh that, that's that one's kind of like uh civilization okay but, like space here is the more more interesting of the things uh do you guys remember like e3 the then they announced the game blair witch yeah yeah that's coming out uh on game pass when it releases actually on pc oh, and xbox shit oh. uh which is something interesting i never i've actually never seen blair witch i haven't either. i mean me neither N- neither have i i've only oh. seen clips and it makes Wait. me nauseous <laughs> yeah no it's it's like i know for sure that it was but the game looks pretty good i know that the movie was one of the like it was like trend setting at the time it was like one of i know it wasn't the first there was one that i think came forward of like the found footage kind of things but i know that it, it was like the most prolific of the original like found footage like movies at the time or something if, if the it game is like set a, the trend if the game is anything like the uh like the newer resident evil game that was super popular for a while i don't remember what seven or whatever yeah uh and the, like the beginning of that game where they're trudging through the like swampy house the trailer it's looks like Outlast. Like yeah. it had. It if it's like either of those camera, games, it's gonna be it's right. Be video huge. camera had, or not video camera. Alice had the video camera, right? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. It looked. That's what the I remember from the trailer at least. And then it like it panned all the way out and it had like the Blair Witch like logo or whatever. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's one of the games that are that's gonna be coming out with with Game Pass. Um, Kingdom Come Deliverance. That game had a <laughs> shit ton of controversy, um, but that's coming out with Game Pass. Did anybody play that game? People did. did. Any of you? No, any of you guys. Oh, no. no I didn't. No. I'm no, pretty didn't. sure my, my roommate did. I watched a little bit of it here and there, but it was just... I mean, it was like a... To me, it seemed like a dirty Skyrim clone. Like, didn't look great. I think it was supposed to be more great. realistic. I think it's supposed to, so supposed to be realistic. Mm. So the, all, like, not looking great and not feeling great fit into the realism of being, you know, that yeah, time. So. But yeah. I'm not interested in that. I'm not interested in Skyrim, honestly. Yeah. Age of Empires Definitive Edition, baby. You get to play some <laughs> some AOE. I love me some Age of Empires. I played so much Age of Empires 2 on my shitty Microsoft 95 computer back when I was a child. <laughs> uh, I could never really get into RTSs. Like, it, I want to, but it just... I I don't know. I have a hard time. Really enjoyed it. Uh, Ape Out. I'm not that, sure. that game is amazing. Didn't know what that was. Glad that you it's, do. It's awesome. What is it? It's basically, uh, you play as a gorilla that, uh, all the sound effects, like, as you're running, it's, like, drums. It's, like, jungle beats, but, like, you're fucking just plowing through skyscrapers, killing enemies, grabbing them, using them as meat shields. To music? Yeah, and it's, like, so it's a like top-down view. the Zelda game? It, the one it, that you like? Uh, not, not really, because that one you have to go to the beat. This, the beat, like, revolves around how you move. Is it Donkey okay. Kong Jungle Beats? <laughs> it's it's not Two? Donkey Kong <laughs> Jungle <The sequel>. Beats. <laughs> That'd be great. Have you seen the videos yeah. of people playing um, Dark Souls with the yeah. the, yes. the Congos or Congos whatever from Donkey Kong? That's insane. Yeah, I don't want people to hate themselves. Yeah, like people <laughs> will play like people play Dark Souls with all sorts of wonky contr- <clears throat> controllers, like the the Donkey Kong bongos or like like a guitar from Guitar Hero and stuff like that. It's just they're masochists. I'm never even. I've. I'm barely even good enough to play with a controller, and people are playing with, playing Dude. super hard games like that. Wacky. It's fucking great. I. I hope to do that someday. What? Then... Play which game though? Dark Souls. To, to play Dark Souls with with the the uh, bongos yeah. or whatever. What about what about the DJ Kong. stand from, uh, DJ Hero? Or <laughs> DJ <whatever>. Hero. <laughs> I have the DJ Hero Two. What's the 360 one? But I have DJ Hero Two. I, I have it. <laughs> Someone just recently did a playthrough of Skyrim with just a torch. What? As an item? So, I, like, yeah, like using just the torch way weapon. Way to way off. The game. <laughs> off. <laughs> I mean, we're talking <laughs> about crazy hard way to beat the game. 
All right, so the last game in that list is Bard's <laughs> We're just going to blow over what Shane said. Damn. All right, continue. Sorry. Bard's Tale Hashtag 4 Shane Director's Life. Cut. Uh, I Bard's don't Tale? Have any idea what that is. The description of that game is the triumphant return of the most iconic RPG series. Or, I'm sorry, one of the most iconic <laughs> I was gonna RPG I going to say, I've series. never even heard of it. The most. <laughs> the fourth one. Uh, one of the most iconic RPG series of all time. Delve into a tragically rich... I'm sorry, I can't read very well. Tactically, <laughs> Tragic, tactically rich. rich. We're so rich. rich. <laughs> uh, combat system that rewards creativity, solve puzzles to gain treasure and advantages, and discover a beautifully crafted world. Mm. It's an RPG. I, I watched the trailer for it, and it it looked actually really, really cool. I I definitely well, uh, if you have Game Pass, you can play it starting uh, August twenty seventh. Oh, hell Do you yeah. get to be a fat drunkard who sings a lot in taverns. Also, all these games I'm come in. out sometime in August. So. I'm in. So, we'll see. Um, that's most of the interesting news so far that at least I found. Um, but going on with that, some interesting games coming out this month. Uh, do you guys know this game, Control? Do you know anything about it? I've seen images about it in multiple places, and I've seen ads for it on different websites, but I have no idea what this game is. Controlled? Control. Just Control. Oh, Control. No, I have no idea. You have no idea. All right. Well, then it, yeah, I'm not sure. Warcraft, that World of Warcraft Classic. I really want yeah. to play World of Warcraft Classic. Wait, I thought that was already out. Wasn't that out? It sounds. Yeah, it's you could have gotten it, beta. It's codes. in beta. You could have gotten beta oh. codes and played, but it fully releases August 27th. How much? Is I it? want to play it. It's a subscription I'm model. Totally down. I absolutely. I the the thing that has always been. I've played WoW briefly before, mostly by myself because you dickheads don't want to play with me. It's true. But, uh, the. Yeah. The biggest hurdle is I have no idea what's going on. Like, the the gameplay that when you jump in is like, you should know about, like, Sylvanas and all these other people. You should understand all what they did. And, like, I don't know any of these people, and I don't know what any of these people have done. And I'm in the middle of, like, this giant war, and none of it makes any sense. Classic would be a nice jumping off point where I can get in on the ground floor where people got in, you know, 40 years ago when this game finally or first launched. I want to do it. I'm all yeah, in I remember, on, I remember all hearing on about World of Warcraft when I was a kid and being super interested in it. My computer but, couldn't run it, so I played uh, RuneScape. My computer definitely my... couldn't run it, and also my internet couldn't run it, because as you know, I lived in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so I had dial-up until I was probably 16, and That's then disgusting. we went from dial-up to like some crappy crappy network card that plugged into my mom's laptop that would put out like 500 kilobytes per second. It was, it was always just... so much fun playing Xbox with you. It was the worst. I literally <laughs> couldn't play Xbox until like everybody had gone to bed, and then I'd have one bar of uh of like network connection in modern warfare 2 and that was like it was the worst i remember for... when we would play custom games be like wait who's the host and we'd look we'd be like god damn it <laughs> restart get out of here yeah uh later in the month we got pokemon masters the phone game that's uh, just pay to win okay well i mean i, I have heard if you nothing choose about to pay game. to win it's like so it's multi it's like a multiplayer team battle thing where it's like teams of three um and that's most of what I know of it. But can't they it, just make you get can't they just put their resources into making Pokemon Go better? If this is it's a different not made company. by the same people, yeah. But oh. Pokemon well, I mean, still, Masters, that's not the same company. What do you, what do you, you want? Some other company to help them? Probably still coming <laughs> from Game Freak and the Pokemon Company. I doubt right? it. I doubt it. So it, the extent of the involvement, like I don't think Game Freak has basically any involvement in what Niantic does with Pokemon Go at this point. Well, the it's Pokemon just Company like, would. A, they probably don't have much either. They're probably just like here's the Pokemon that you can put in. And here's the IP that you can use, but I doubt they actually have any hands-on involvement with the app, because they don't know they don't develop for apps. Why would they know how to develop for apps? They make know, Pokemon they, games I, on the on Nintendo software. I would assume that they would get. I would assume they get would get final okay. Okay, but I mean, you can't final okay doesn't you can't offer more help with just a final okay. I guess so. And like make the game better. I don't know. Do people want this game? I didn't. I I've never even heard. Yeah, of it, I so. I think people wanted it before. Uh, they they. Everyone started spouting off about how it's pay to win. It, you, it's very much you get one Pokemon and that's your whole team because it's a, a co-op. So there's two other people that you battle with, but you use that one Pokemon. But you can unlock you, more Pokemon. You can unlock more Pokemon, but I believe when you unlock, a, based on how it looked, you when you unlock a new Pokemon, you also unlock you use a different trainer. Yeah, but I mean that really doesn't matter. It's that that, that, you're right, that it's, doesn't every matter. trainer is with a Pokemon, so like. Uh, like Surge would have a Raichu, or like uh, I don't know, Lance would have. What was Lance Fire? Dragon. 
or was Lance Dragon, he would have a Dragonite. And so it's basically a trainer with a Pokemon, and then you can unlock different trainers that have their Pokemon. Um, someone compared it to their uh, their Fire Emblem's mobile game, which like Fate or whatever it was called, which I also never played because I don't like Fire Emblem. But I played like that. I, I loved Fate. I, lo- I loved uh, Fire Emblem on the phone. I fell out of it because it got it got similar to Pay to Win, but it was a lot easier to um, get the currency in-game than it, it sounds like Pokemon Masters will be. So it just seems a little rough. Plus, it's going to have very few Pokemon to launch with. I think it's less. It's somewhere between 30 and 50 Pokemon. Oh, that's lame. Well, it doesn't really bother me that much. It's... You, you're gonna have I just one hope Pokemon. I can have Snorlax. I don't remember if Snorlax is one of the Pokemon or not. It doesn't bother me. Like the whole the whole anti pay to win craze uh, doesn't bother me personally because I have no issue spending some money in video games. It doesn't bother me. It's like maybe it's targeted towards like it's it's not good when you target towards children. But I am not a child. I'm a grown adult with you know like a cognizant mind, and I can choose whether or not I want to spend five dollars on this game. And I'm not gonna spend a thousand dollars on this game and lose my life savings like some of these people are doing. So it doesn't bother me. If it's fun and I want to throw five dollars in it, I'm gonna do it. Like yeah, I spent. Th- Continue. Go. I think that. I, again, I don't. I don't know, but like I think that the majority of people playing video games are younger kids who don't have access to their own money. So that if they want to buy something, that they go, "Hey, mom or dad, can I? If I do my chores extra fast today, can I buy this or something?" And then, and then they get hooked especially with like loot boxes and stuff where it's like I could get this super fancy 0.1% awesome thing and then I can show it off. So then they're like, I, I didn't get it this time. I'm going to try again. And then they don't have money. So they go, well, I, I did save my mom's credit card. And that's just bad parenting. I know, but I, there's, well, I shouldn't be punished because there are bad parents out there is my point. Sure. Like if but I want to do something, you you need to, you should be able to you should in a, in this world you should be able to cater to me, and still not have it be a detriment to children. We can have the best of both worlds. It is possible, and it should be a thing. Yeah, and that's and that's I think it I'm, is. I'm fine with again. Well, I guess I guess I'm fine with people buying just cosmetic things or whatever, paying to win. I guess is fine too, whatever. But when it's the um, loot boxes, that's like pseudo gambling, and they're teaching kids to try to go for the high. It's like. I love gambling. We just had <laughs> I know, but you're an adult. legalized in Illinois, you're which an means adult. next year all my money's going to be gone because <laughs> that I can't stop. <laughs> but that's fine. That's fine because you're an adult and you can make that decision. But there's dumb dumbs who can't make that decision because their brains are incapable of making that decision. Well, that's what their parents are for, is my point. And if if you lose all your parents' money because you're a bad parent, that's the parents' problem, not Don's problem. All right, I guess so. And with that, I step off my soapbox and we'll <laughs> move on. Uh, so those are pretty much all the interesting games that come out this month. Uh, so we can roll directly into some our topic for this episode of the pod, and uh, the pod, the pod, our pod. Uh, we're gonna talk about Sonic Adventure Two Battle, and uh, hell yeah, uh, basically do our our like retro review of it uh, as our as our first topic. So Sonic Adventure Two Battle, or Sonic Adventure Two, came out. Uh, let me let me pull it up. Everyone just give. We'll start off. Everyone should give your brief uh, thoughts. Just like, do you love it? Do you hate it? Obviously, we love it. But go ahead and we'll uh, start. With Shane. Yeah. Okay, I loved it. Uh, I'm my favorite part was 100 percent the chows uh, and trying to just make them my little minions and make them as badass as possible, which I never accomplished because <laughs> my entire goal it. I never reached it. <laughs> All right, I just needed you to vamp for a little while, so back to me. Uh, Sonic <laughs> Battle, uh, released worldwide on the Dreamcast, which was its first release, um, June 23rd of 2001. Uh, so we're 18 years, we're almost 20 years, th- this game is almost 20 years old, which is wild. Uh, it looks like it's 20 years old. It so looks like, so bad. <laughs> It doesn't it look. Feels like it's twenty years old. Yeah, there's definitely, there's definitely got some, some perks, but it's pretty rough. Some things that aren't, aren't great about it. Um, that was the Dreamcast release, which this is very interesting. I didn't. That was worldwide. Very interesting. I did not know uh, the the GameCube version, which was to battle, uh, released in Japan on December twentieth of two thousand one. So less than a year, oh, it released wow. on GameCube. 
Wow. I had no idea. I didn't know that it was that close. To I definitely games. thought it was later. Yeah. It barely had a GameCube life, which, or, or a Dreamcast life, which is nuts. So I've had, I expected it maybe like a, at least a year, but no. Well, I mean, uh, if you think not, about this, even... the popularity between the two consoles, it's like we can make half the money we can if we just keep it on Dreamcast, or we can double our money if we put it on GameCube. And GameCube wasn't even that exactly. popular, but it was way more popular than the Dreamcast. Well, yeah, because unfortunately, Dreamcast was very underrated. It was it way ahead of its time. It was cool, I guess, but I Dude, really enjoyed don't it. Say it. Don't say it didn't have anything, all right? Shut it had a memory know. card that you could put your chow on. That was, the VMU was the coolest piece of hardware, besides the Shenmue, or the, not Shenmue, god dang it, Corey. The, uh, <laughs> Shenmue is not cool microphone. in any aspect. Uh, <laughs> fuck you. But yeah, and I re- released in North America on February 11th, uh, 2002. So it came to North America like eight months later, basically, after the release of the, the Dreamcast version. Uh, and then PAL a couple months later in May of 2002. Uh, so yeah, there's less than basically less than a year. Uh, it had completely moved all over the world on the on the GameCube. Um, and then it came out on Xbox and Windows and PS3 in uh, October 2nd of 2012. So you know, like 10 years later, it it had a second life on the what is that seventh generation of consoles, right? That's what the Xbox 360 and PS3 was with seventh gen. Sure, I don't remember. Don't call me on that. Uh, Why not? It was the 120th, 120th generation. Okay, so before we get into our opinions of it, uh, what, do, what do you guys think? How do you think it got reviewed uh, at the time? Let's, uh, what do you think the Metis- Metacritic score was? It's out of 100. I'm guessing like 83. I, 83. I'm sure it was... I, I feel like it was like back in the day when it came out, it was responded with very well, and then it kind of just tapered off as people realized that it was I, I don't even think pretty it rough. Off. I don't even think it tapered off. I think it's still probably one of the more favorable Sonic games besides like the classic ones. Chain Corey, you got numbers? Uh, I want to say uh, it's a it's, it's a three dimensional Sonic game, and we know how much people yes. hate that. So so I'm gonna say seventy three. Okay, well, less favorable, but still still fresh. Corey, I, I was thinking like seventy eight. Seventy eight. Yeah. Okay. Don, uh, Don, what's your guess? I, I have the numbers. <laughs> uh, Davis's was the closest. It was 89 out of 100. Oh, so almost 90. Wow. Almost an A. Uh, so That's shocking really well to me. That, on Metacritic. Um, that surprises me, to be honest. I mean... Uh, the best review that I got was from IGN. I got a 9.4 out of 10 from IGN. Well, IGN gives everything hey. a 10 to a 9. I mean, it's... I mean, this was in 2000, the early 2000s. IGN was still a baby, I assume. I don't actually know when IGN started, but it was young IGN at least. Little baby, uh, but it says uh, received generally favorable reviews uh, because I guess I guess the critics liked the multiple play styles because you had it was a kart racer, it was it had a player racer, it had stupid mechs which kind of sucked. Uh, uh, fuck yeah, it did. The, yeah, that was awful. The uh, the, the Emerald digging. Search, which yeah. love it or hate it, it was interesting. I mean, well, I, I always loved those. I was you could ask me on any day of the week, I would either love it or hate it, but. I mean, I, Knuckles was one of my favorites, so I enjoyed playing as Knuckles, at least. And he had some of the dopest tracks in the game. Yeah, like, Pumpkin oh, Hill. Yeah. I listen to those tracks still. Uh, do you, on what? Uh, on YouTube? I'll play it on YouTube or something when I'm playing video games or whatever. Okay, because I know, Ninte- not at least Nintendo just, I know it's not a Nintendo IP, but Nintendo just took down a whole bunch of songs from YouTube. Yeah, it was from, like, some third-party, uh, like, some, some third-party release. Um, they took him down from them. Um, some third-party dude, I don't remember who it was, but it doesn't matter. It was it was more than one dude. It was mo- the majority of the content. Well, there was there was some like big dude that I oh, well, saw yeah. highlighted in the thing. I don't remember who it was. It was like it was like the one of the main dudes who like re-release or who put out like different Nintendo tracks and stuff. Is it like brawl something? I don't remember even. I I think I read it like yesterday or something, but it doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, YouTube. But we can get into uh, into some more in-depth uh, opinions like Shane we, you can continue now now that I've, I've got the the textbook stuff out of the way Shane let's let's hear your actual feelings on this game this is Shane's minute go ahead um I love the chow as I said uh raising the chow getting him to evolve trying to get a chaos chow which we never accomplished you failed it's so <laughs> hard you blew it's it it's so hard uh but I felt like I, I'm I'm a sucker for a grind 
I have no problem grinding, and I would grind out ra- rings and animals and drives to give oh, the grind, chow. Just grinding animals. <sighs> uh, I think that's illegal. <laughs> I'm in Alabama. I'm not quite sure. Uh, nothing's uh, illegal. <laughs> 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 um, but so that was that. That's what I enjoyed about the game. I, well, I did. I didn't give a crap about the story besides the end when you got to be supersonic and super shadow. That was bomb ass. Or like hyper make, shadow. Let me I'm clarify. Gonna, I'm gonna make a bit of a, a bomb ass and add, 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 add to that. Uh, there was one point in time in college when me and my roommate Melt at the time. We got really drunk, and we, we were just talking about that game, and we broke out like that game, and we just played the the final level, and we were just singing, and I have very vivid memories of being very drunk playing that, and we actually beat it. I didn't think we were going to be able to, but it took me forever, because I was always like bashing into like the wrong stuff, and the stupid giant space lizard beat the crap out of me, but we did it. Continue, Shane. Yeah. Uh, it's basically, that's what, it was Chow Simulator. If they just brought that to mobile, I would, I would buy it. I would spend money on it. I'm sure a lot of people would. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Corey, what did you think of it? I obviously love that game. Uh, the, from from the moment it starts, like uh, fucking uh, City Escape, that that level just opens it up, and it's a brilliant way to open it. It was uh, like I love how it starts with you like snowboarding down the fucking like not even snowboarding because there was no snow, but you know what I mean, sliding down asphalt, the roads, asphalt boarding. Snow was in yeah. two player. It had snow in it. In the, in the and in, and in Adventure Sonic Adventure 1. 1. Uh, but yeah, doing that and uh, yeah, all the different varieties, how you have the two stories, the hero, then the dark side, and then the you know final, where you're all of them working together. It was just, mm-hmm. it, it was a brilliant game. The, the, that the worst, final chapter is rough. But easily the worst the part about battles. that, no, the worst part is the Chows. Hey, oh, I you're nuts. Hate the worst the part, go jump off a I building. I hate them. <laughs> <laughs> they ruined it. It was awful. You're to, like, they have a wrong opinion. Like the the worst feeling ever is when you accidentally pick up the chow key. That is no. awful. Oh my goodness. Oh my, oh my goodness. You're in the minority here. We might have to kick you off this panel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but it's. I love it. All right. And the soundtrack. You else, Obviously, the soundtrack oh. is phenomenal. Delicious. Davis, what are your opinions on it? I think I said earlier that I played the, the shit out of that game, and I, I grew up in the middle of nowhere, like I said, and I, all I had were video games on weekends. I, I would go to Don's house, but I mean, when I couldn't, I, I, did, I wasn't around, I couldn't go outside and hang out with people around my subdivision or anything, because I didn't have anybody out in the country, so I would play video games all weekend long, and I, that was one of my the ones I would play the longest, and the, for the most, so I spent a lot of time in that game, and so probably most of my appreciation for it is nostalgia-based, because um, I was a dumb kid, and I didn't know what was a good game or what made a bad game. Um, and I recognize the, the criticism of it, but uh, I don't care. <laughs> I like it still. Um, the, the funness of the parts that I like outweigh the lameness of, like, the um, tails and Eggman levels, those could go away and it'd be fine. Um, but overall, it's it's you know I I uh, ha- have so much love for that game and I think I can I think I will play it until I I can't play video games anymore. It, it may not be very often, but it's it's one of those that you can always go back to and it's something special for your hands. Davis. Yeah. Uh, remember when you, me, and Don were at your house, and uh, I got the twelve pack uh, taco. Yes. The twelve taco yes. pack. And so we, we <laughs> go on. Corey and I made it, Corey and I made a bet that I could get to what was it, what where, where I could get. You had to beat Shadow. It was the end of Metal Harbor. Yeah, I had to was beat Metal Harbor, Harbor from the beginning before Corey could eat a party pack of of Taco Bell tacos, <laughs> which is twelve tacos. And hard shell. nice, nice hard shell tacos. He had to eat twelve of them before I beat. Uh, Metal Harbor, which is like the sixth level or something like that. So I, I, uh, he beat me, but only by like twenty seconds. It was really, really close. <laughs> it didn't actually get really close towards the end. It was pretty nuts. Yeah, I, I, I thought I was gonna. I, I totally thought I had it in the bag. I, I would, I would have killed like myself five, five seconds. It was absurd. 
I think he, I think, I think I finished like the, yeah <laughs> the first I think level. I like, oh, tacos shit. before I beat City Escape, and I I thought I was so screwed at that. Core <laughs> hit Core hit a hard wall and then slowed down a lot. Yeah, but. I knew I knew he was gonna slow down, but the at, at halfway when I didn't even beat the first level yet, I thought I was a goner. <laughs> it was a good time. Yeah, it was fun. It was awesome. So my opinion of this game, much like these other lamos, obviously I love this game. That's why we're talking about it for the first episode here. Uh, I had it was one of my most frequent played games in the GameCube. Uh, basically, my house was like the hub of people, and people would come over. Like Shane would come over, or Davis would come over. I had other friends that would come over, and we would just play this game. And me and Shane in particular, mm-hmm. we would spend endless hours in the Chow Garden just trying to get. Like I still have uh, one of the Chow websites bookmarked on my in my browser <laughs> because we would frequent it, and it would teach us how to make like these cast chows. We could never do it because we couldn't get them always to reincarnate enough, but. We would always be, we'd work on it, and we'd try to do it, we'd play it. We, like, found uh, an exploit where if you fed a Chow an item in, like, the in the Heaven Garden, when it was, like, up against one of the pillars, it wouldn't, it would eat the item, but it wouldn't consume the item. So you could give it to him over and over and over and over again. Uh, and we, so we just, like, ruined these Chows with, like, these different, like, uh, items just so, like, we could try to evolve them right. So we'd have some, like, sick-looking Chows, but we never got any of the Chaos ones, unfortunately. The but, like, worst the story... We'll go. You can go shit, Dave. The worst part about the Chow Garden stuff was when you accidentally gave one of the Chows the like bat or whatever that made the feet their feet go away. So they just had to, they were, yeah they were hovering around and there was <laughs> as far as I know there was no way to get the feet back. And you're like, well, this, this one's going in the dumpster. Oh, well, this is a there's dead a lot chow. of ways to ruin it. This I, Chow is dead to me now. And one of the items reset it. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, that was a reset item. Yeah, yes. well, it, it was like the, animal, the unicorn the or something yes. like that. Oh, no, it wasn't the unicorn. The it was unicorn one. It was that in spike. that category of of animals. It reset all its like visual perks. See, I didn't know that. I didn't have internet. I couldn't figure it out. Yeah, I also didn't know that you could make them look like the characters until I was way too old to even play the game as much as I used to. And we got but... a couple of those chows, the different character yeah. chows, like a Sonic but, uh, Chow. Sonic yeah. Chow. Shadow we also Chow. had no idea you could do that. I, <laughs> I went out of my way to go to GameStop and find this Sonic. Ad- Advanced three or something. The one that you can plug in. That you can plug in to the game, transfer the chow over, and you can also transfer items over, and you can get special jewel chow eggs to transfer into that game. Mm -hmm. Yep. We we, and Shane went all out for this game. Like and (laughs) that's that's literally just Shower World. That's literally an a minuscule fraction of this game. Like the campaign had amazing music, it had fun levels. Like I said, I wasn't a huge fan of the, the, the Tails and Eggman levels, like they were fine. It was mostly just mushing the A button and just jumping around. Uh, but, like, it had... I, I, the, I can't, like, replay a lot of games, but this game had good built-in replayability because it's, like, mm-hmm. each of the levels had different stages in the levels, and, like, the stages were not, comp- like, very, very different, but they were, like, moderately different where it's, like, oh, you got to find... Go a different path to find the secret item or something, or you got to find, like, go another path to find, like, the, the hidden chow. So, like, within this one level, you'll get, like four different like routes in the level and then you had like two different like difficulties of like hardness so you had like six different ways to play through this level uh and all of them were like entertaining and like they some like as you got further in the game they were fucking hard but like yeah some of the some it, of the like individual stage or like levels for each stage was really hard like the grinding one towards the end on the yeah the, the it's space that, i don't remember what that was called yeah, but, yeah. we're trying to like there the were one... different challenges for each level, so some of it was like beat it in hard mode, or beat it uh, under this amount of time, or get a hundred ranks as fast as you can. And if you yeah. were trying to get the, if you're trying to hundred percent the game, you'd have to get an A rank in all those, and like that's and, and really hard. S, or not S? Was it S? I thought A was highest. No, it was it was S. all A's was it all because A's? when you get I, when you get A's on every level, never you did unlock uh, the Green Hill Zone. Uh, green Hill Zone. Yeah. Never yeah. did that. There, there, I remember there was Jim also did, my brother. Mm-hmm. Oh, the, 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 there's also a way to unlock like different outfits for the characters. I, I I never I never did this. I remember my one of my neighbors. They had like gotten A's on all of Knuckles levels, and he got a trench coat. Uh, what? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, that actually sounds familiar. Google time. But either way, I I mean we all love this game. It was it was a great game. So we'll uh. We'll, we'll give it our 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 pepper rating. Uh, how many peppers out of a hundred? Uh, Shane, how many how many peppers out of a hundred? Uh, ninety. Ninety peppers out of a hundred. Corey, how many how many bell peppers out of a hundred? I'm gonna go eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Okay. Davis, how many peppers out of a hundred? I'm gonna go ninety-one poblano peppers. Out of 100. or bell peppers. Uh, butt face. 
Pleppers. Bell Pleppers. Pleppers. Peppers. Uh, I'm going to go 89. 89 <laughs> bell peppers out of 100. So we, these are all up there. Shane's, uh, Shane and Davis both broke into the, the 90s, being Corey sticking all around in the 80s, but damn fine game. Still uh, amazing Endless game. memories, endless fun, still even to this day. Yeah, it, the fact that I can sing the entire song uh, of uh, Cityscape is, just, I mean, that just proves that it's, that at least that level is I'd, like, like, Timeless. Yeah, timeless. I'd go to a crush. I'd go to a crush forty four concert exclusively to hear Sonic soundtrack. And if crush I played 40? anything else, I would rock. Oh yeah, it's just Isn't crush 44? forty four. Forty. It's just forty. But yes, right, I would right. also go to a crush forty concert. But I'd ride if they played anything other than Sonic song. Okay. Uh, so, moving on uh, to our next segment, uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a, a rank here, and. Uh, so we're going to do, and we're going to do it in in draft form. So once a game is picked, it's off the board. So we're what? doing top five Sonic games. <laughs> All right. So I've got. Let's see. I'll, I'll pull up everyone's names here. So we'll do Davis, Corey, then Shane, then me. Uh, we're gonna. You guys pick your the top five Sonic games in draft form. So you guys understand the the premise. Once, so, so so let's say we once so Corey you go first so or, I'm sorry Davis you go first so Corey like if first. Davis I don't go if first. you picked okay so Corey <laughs> you go first yeah it's a draft so you want to go first so once a game is picked no one else can pick it so if Corey picks a Sonic Adventure two battle first no one else gets to pick it it's like like a football draft or a baseball draft like a sports draft and then what's the so point it, we're just ranking them okay this is just a draft we pick five games and then do we. Like, kind of argue for where it should be put? No. Everybody has their own own lists. So, Corey, you... Oh, okay. You, this, is, oh. this is round one. So, Corey, you pick one. Okay. Then Davis, you pick one. Then Shane, you pick one. Then I will pick one. Do you understand right. the premise of this? how this listing works? It's sure. not very difficult, you you non-sports-watching heathens. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, With the first round pick, Corey, go. What's your What's the number one game? Uh, Sonic 06. Sonic 06. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, it's Sonic CD. Sonic CD. The Easily Sonic CD. Sonic uh, CD is your first round pick. That is a wild first 1-1 one, one pick. What? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> that is... Congrats on Out the of all the Sonic pick. games. That is the best Sonic game. I have the best song. Easily. You you know the song Sonic yeah. Boom, dude? Yeah, I have the best song. The song. best song ever. And a... It's the best Sonic game. That's wild. This, first off, but this doesn't make any sense. Sure. All right. I had to take it. It's the best. I you that could have easily waited the second round because no one else in this group would have picked it. You wasted a first round pick, Davis. <laughs> uh, I didn't waste it. It's not a waste. Sonic Three and Knuckles, baby. Uh, that is a solid pick. Although I don't think Shane would have picked it, so you, that one I'd have also followed the second round. But you never know. Corey might have had that one. But good Ooh, time. Sonic Three and Knuckles is dope. That, that actually is on my list that I made earlier. That that was on my list too because I remember playing that one. <laughs> Eat it, boys. All right. Uh, what? Why? Why? Oh, because uh, it's so. Sonic One is okay. You couldn't do a whole lot. It wasn't that great. Pretty lame. Not a huge fan. Sonic Two was good because it improved all the stuff. But Sonic Three improved everything more, and introduced Knuckles, and had new mechanics, and there wasn't a stupid underwater level. And whatever the the like flying ship level has the best uh, soundtrack in all of Sonic games. Um, uh, battery Zone, Flying Battery Zone, I think is what it's called. That's right. one of the best songs. Shane, what's your what's your first round pick? <sighs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Sonic Battle. One on the Game no, Boy. Yeah, the game on the Game Boy. Boy. On the on oh. the Game Boy. <laughs> Uh, what are these bad picks? <laughs> I'm, well, <laughs> here's the thing. Here's the row. thing. I'm a slut for like. I'm a slut for like you're customizable. Slut, yes. um, <laughs> uh, for customizable like card like games, and it was similar to that. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Right. Uh, That's a wrong pick. Rounding out the first round, I'm picking Sonic Adventure Two. You idiots! The game of the show. <laughs> I mean, I figured that you were going to pick that. So. I. It's on my list, but it's on my. Guess what? Not anymore. It's on my list. Uh, Great. I'm not going to say why I picked it because obviously I picked it because of the show. Corey, start us off with round two. 
Uh, Sonic Adventure 1. Good one. That one had a cool overworld, which was fun. Besides running into real people. Oh, that I also have fun. that song on a Spotify playlist, because that song is good, too. Welcome to Station Square. That's what it's called. Like and had Big the Cat, the which is, exactly, you know, exactly. You go, you go Big the frog. Cat was amazing. Froggy, where are you? <laughs> Those fishing <laughs> levels were the worst. They were the best. <laughs> All right, uh, Davis, your second round pick. Sonic Heroes, baby. Sonic Heroes, that's actually good. That's got a good time. All Sonic games have a good soundtrack, but that's got a good. Yeah, all Sonic. Most Sonic games have honestly, great like Sonic like, Heroes. As awful as Sonic 06 is, the main theme is awesome. Yeah, so, okay, so, why I like Sonic Heroes, I understand that it's a crappy Sonic game, okay? I don't It's, care. like, mid. It's It's crappy. fun. There are a lot the of, levels there are, are cool. a lot of bad Sonic games, it's, like, in the middle. Let's be, let's be yeah, completely that's honest. that's true. Here. There are a lot of bad Sonic it games. It was fun. So, yeah, it was, it was, it was in a the ton middle. of fun. Running fast as Sonic was cool. Doing some of the combat stuff as the power character was all right. All of the flying characters were super boring and dumb. The but fucking B. Again, soundtrack was cool. Yeah, Charmy B is annoying. Uh, it was cool because they had different levels for each team. So like Sonic was normal. The Shadow team was like a little harder, harder. Uh, the uh, like Amy Rose team was the like the baby squad, and they their levels were like eight seconds long and super easy. <laughs> and then they had the like team Chowtix or whatever with the. Uh, Isn't it chaotic? Chaotic alligator. It's chaotic. Chaotics. Chaotics. What did I say? Chowtix? Yes. Yeah, chaotic. What an idiot. Uh, I'm saying. Espeon the Charmeleon. Isn't Espeon? Espeon is awesome. These are Pokemon. You're saying Pokemon. What am I saying? What's his name? Espeon, uh, I believe. Espeon. I'm an idiot. You got Pokemon SBO. on the brain. <laughs> uh, Victor the alligator and Charmy B. And that was just like, it was like a, the goal was always unique for each level. So that, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, Shane, second round pick. Shane. Shane <laughs> there we go. It works. It works. We're back. We're good. He <laughs> started great. He was like, it's like, uh, is he dead? It was very no, unnerving. All right, Shane, what's your second round pick? That was really. Uh, funny. Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh, oh my God! Two you. bad picks God, in a row. That was awful. Two bad picks in a row from Shane. <laughs> I Sonic the Hedgehog got or Shadow the Hedgehog for Christmas one year and we played it at our grandma's house and when we found out that Shadow was cussing we looked at each other we're like whoa <laughs> exactly <laughs> Damn, exactly here. that's why I picked it <laughs> oh my god that game is why the people. hell it's is trash. he going around shooting people <laughs> that's not a it's, Sonic it's game awesome. it's so bad good pick Shane good pick Shane <laughs> it's bad. so bad don't anyone else tell you otherwise that was a good freaking pick that's but, bad, but the shock but, but honestly the thing is it's wild it, it, because of that it's so much fun <laughs> Nice. All right, we'll finish it up the second round here. We're gonna pick this up a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna take Sonic Mania actually, released only All a right. couple years ago. Uh, it's like oh, that's it's one. like classic Sonic games, except it actually plays well, like really well. Uh, and it's like pretty hard, so it's a lot of fun. I got it on my Switch because it's like the perfect game for the Switch. Uh, on the go, you can pick it up, play it anytime. Uh, but yeah, Sonic uh, Sonic Mania is my pick. Corey, uh, I'm gonna have to go with Sonic Generations. Solid. That's another good one. That one was great. It uh mixed. It, it did actually good 3D Sonic. Uh, mm-hmm. cause that came like at, obviously that came in the era with where every single Sonic game that came out was just complete shit. And then that came Concept out and garbage. they fixed everything and it was really fun. You got really good 2D levels reminiscent of the OG Sonics and uh. Then mixed with the 3D. I didn't know that I didn't know that I wanted City Escape in 2D until it came out, and then I really wanted it. Right. So that that was cool. Davis, third pick. Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to go with Doctor Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Solid choice. It's a good. Dude, I, ha- I have Tetris clone. I have that Genesis uh, c- cartridge. I had. So I played it on the Sonic Mega Collection that was on the GameCube. It had like all the OG Sonic games. And that was probably when I played the most out of all the, uh, even like the main one through three uh, games. Played Mean Bean the most. Solid. 
Or that's not that solid. It's a, not a great pick. No, it's not. Go Shane. <laughs> uh, Sonic Advance three for the Chow Garden with the rock paper scissors game. Okay, let's. That 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 is a pick that plays into Sonic Adventure two. And if that game didn't exist, I don't know that that would be a good pick. But uh, Sonic Advance three. It was trash otherwise. Yeah, well, uh, I'm going to pick, uh, with my third pick, the bad boy that started all, Sonic the Hedgehog Uno. Easy pick. Why mm-hmm. not? It's the game that started it all. It's classic Sonic. It 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 stands up pretty well. Like, you could you could pick up Sonic any day and still play it, and it's fun. You could pick up Mario any day and play it, it's still fun. Uh, a lot of those games in the middle, maybe not so much. But uh, those games, they stand up. Corey? Uh, I'm gonna get. I'm. I, I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get Knuckles Chaotix. That game was never played it. Oh, oh, that. Uh, that's what introduced SBO and Vector and a few other mm-hmm. characters. And it, uh, like so when I first saw SBO in uh, the um, Sonic Adventure uh, one in the casino level when you go in the pinball areas. And I saw them. Oh, I got yeah. super pumped about that. Love that game. Right. Davis? Number four? Uh, Sonic the Hedgehog... <clears throat> sorry, Sonic the Hedgehog 2. I think it's a better game than Sonic 1. They added Spin Dash. Um, I think uh, Emerald Hill Zone music is better than Green Hill Zone music. I don't like the. I disagree, uh, and you can firmly place your lips around my balls, but that's maybe <laughs> for another time. No, no. I think I'm. I think I'm right. Let's 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 see. I'm gonna. Will you? Well, Shane goes. I'm gonna Google which got better reviews. Oh yeah, the internet's opinion is what matters. It's it's true. <laughs> go go, Shane. All right, all right. So I'm uh I'm gonna scrape the bottom of the barrel of Sonic games I've actually played now, and I'm gonna go with Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Nice. Oh my God. That was bad. Actually, it's not that bad. It was a good Wii game. Because, you know, Wii. <laughs> Wii. Uh, okay. With my fourth pick, uh, I wanted to let this one sit to the fifth pick. But I'm gonna take it now, and I'm gonna let the cards roll and see what my fifth pick will end up being. I'm gonna go Sonic Riders. You ass. <laughs> I played that game once, and I literally didn't know what to do. I couldn't even. I couldn't get on the board. I was just running. Yeah, it's, it's, like, a, little, it's a little interesting. Like, but what do I do? And then I took it. I returned it back to Video Villa. It was the. F- it was the first like very different Sonic game that I played because I mean that came before like Racing Transformed, right, and all those ones. Or any of the racing games, really? Besides, well, like the well, old racing games. Sonic R. <laughs> well, that's we're that's still like <laughs> you're running, so it's still like Sonic at least. At least this was like the whole. I mean, the point of Sonic is he can he runs very fast. Uh, so fast, and he doesn't run fast. He just likes to do his little skateboarding thing. Had a 3D Sonic storyline, uh, which I I liked. Um, yeah, that's my pick, Corey. No, uh, your fifth and final pick. Fun fact, unfortunately. Sonic the Hedgehog 1 has an 8.8 on Metacritic, and Sonic the Hedgehog 2 has an 8.6. So I guess I'm wrong. But, well, but, Sonic, but Sonic 2 is better than Sonic 1. Well, yeah, true. I mean, um, whatever. But... <laughs> Jeez. Last pick, uh, uh, this is a tough one. Um, I'm actually going to go with uh, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing. You know why? Uh, that's why? a good one. You can be okay. Ryo Hazuki. <laughs> uh... Riding the forklift. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I was so pumped. And for some reason, when Ryo won, he uh, he, he would end up like doing the Tim Allen uh, grunt. Be like, uh? Uh-huh. I won. Uh, Davis, what's your last pick? <clears throat> um, this game is very bad. <laughs> but I played it a lot on the Wii. And that's Sonic and the Secret Rings. That, 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 game, that, game, that game was awful. Is, 
is toilet water. I remember pre-ordering that. Game that. <laughs> so bad. Is that what the one with the ghosty goo? Yeah, this is how, this is how you played the game. Okay, you'd have you'd have your remote like this, and I think you would twist it forward to go faster. I, I hated games you, that made you do this because it never yeah, worked. Yeah, right. yeah. So you do this, and then you just go back and forth, and I think the jump would like lift up. War- yeah. it, horrible games, games that made you rotate forward for the for the horizontal Wiimote. Garbage. Yeah. All right, Shane, what is your last pick? Now, can I pick Super Smash Bros. Brawl because Sonic's in it or not? No. I don't fucking care. Sure. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's go with that. <laughs> All right. Uh, why? Do you only play Sonic? Why? Uh, no, but I did play Sonic. Sonic was like my third main. <laughs> Who's your first main? Your, your bronze tier Luc- main. Luc- Lucario. Oh, yeah, of course. Who's your second main? Uh, my second main, I'm pretty sure, was Kirby. I like that Sonic ranks below something that he barely remembers. <laughs> yeah. Right. No, no. Lucario? You, Lucario? Somebody. And then Sonic. Sonic was my second main in that. My, my first was Snake. My final pick. Wild pick here. Uh, and it's the only Game Boy game on my list. Uh, Sonic Battle. Do you, Shane, do you remember this game? That's what he chose already. That's what I picked. You dummy dumb. Oh, you fucking did. That was your first round pick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good job, dumb dumb. Good pick. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go out on a limb here. Oh, not, not Shane just first round dabbed. Pick. Oh, good pick. <laughs> uh, Shane just dabbed, guys. All right. Uh, well, then Sonic 06 is my pick because it's hot garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Can I- it already got picked. No, no, I was joking was a joke. when I said that, oh. and then it was Sonic. It was a meme. Right. It still is a meme. It's deeply ingrained in the Sonic oh. culture. It's almost important. I actually, it's almost as important you, as any other Sonic game, honestly. Are you are you even a, a game reviewer on YouTube if you haven't reviewed that game? Like, I feel it, everybody's done it. It's it's just such a it's hot thing. So such a thing. So since I work at a printing company, I actually had this printed. Oh my god! What is that? What's it on? Your smile's all I need. What is it? Sonic 316. Oh What's it on? It's just... It's a sticker? Post- Cord yeah. printed out a sticker no. of Sonic with... No, it's not a sticker. What is it? Can you print... It's just you laminated. A giant laminated Sonic. Can... That says... You print it out? Your smile's all I need. Sonic 316. Can you print it out on... Um, on... Like a tin? You know how people have those like... Tin things on their walls i probably Little could sheets i probably could that'd be cool all right all right cool. so there's our those are our, uh, our our final our final rankings i'm gonna go through them again one more time just for to be pungent uh cory sonic cd sonic adventure one sonic generations knuckles chaotix and then sonic and sega all-stars racing davis you had sonic 3 and knuckles sonic heroes dr robotnik's mean bean machine sonic the hedgehog 2 and sonic and the secret rings shane you had so- I think I had Sonic Battle, Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic Advance 3, Mario and Sonic Olympic Games, and Smash Bros. Brawl. <laughs> I have never seen <laughs> and then I had terrible. Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Mania, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic Riders, and Sonic 06, bringing it hard in my fifth round pick. That is our Sonic ranking. And uh, to wrap up this pod, we're going to do something interesting. I think this is how we'll wrap every pod up. Uh, we're going to do it with This Day in Gaming History. So... I'm going to give you a couple things that happened on this day in gaming history. So, in 2002, this is for uh, August 20th. August 20th of 2002. It's That's not today. today, but it will be today when this releases. Uh, August 20th, 2002. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 released on the N64. Uh, I love Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk Pro Skater is a great game. Uh, three, I think I liked probably two more than I like three, and I think I like four more than I like three, but they're still both winners. Uh, it's still a winner. Um, did you guys... Did you, did you guys... Did any of you guys play Sonic? Like, Davis, did you play... Or not Sonic. It's still my brain. Davis, did you play uh, any Tony Hawk games? Only only at your house. Um, that makes sense. I, I never was really into them. I would play them for fun with you, but I wouldn't... I didn't have them. Of course. Uh, also, Tom Clancy's Splinter Cell Black Agent was, or not Black Agent, Black List. Which one was Black List, Corey? Black, Black List was, uh, that was the last one. Was it the last one? That, 
Yeah. So most after recent conviction. Most recent Splinter Cell game came out, and this this day in 2012. Uh, I'm sorry, not 2012. 2013. Uh, it's pretty, uh, oh. pretty nuts. It's been that long since we had a Splinter Cell game. There are so, rumblings of new Splinter Cell games, though. So, uh, Shane's power surged. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's looking like that. Well, let's keep, let's keep going. Oh, no, let's keep oh, going. What a, what a perfect way to end this. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, in, I feel like that is perfect uh way to describe us in a nutshell uh from don shane uh davis and Corey, this has been the bell pepper team podcast we'll uh working title see you guys later bye see you love you